Hi, so in other videos I showed how to look at deadlocks in the extended events and querying for it using uh, an extended event query. Um, also showed you how to look at it in SQL Server Profiler. Now in this video I'm going to show you how to look for it in the SQL Server logs. So once again I have to turn on trace. So in my case I already have the trace turned on but if you don't you could just execute dbcc trace on and use the flag 1222. Uh, and make sure to turn it off after you're done. Um, so once I have that turned on, you'll notice in management, uh, there's the SQL Server logs. So if I go to SQL Server logs, there's something called current and also archives. So I could dig through for the other um, deadlock graphs um, if I'm interested in a historical record. So let me just create a deadlock here. So I'm just gonna do a simple deadlock where uh, one is waiting for two and two is waiting for one. So I'm going to run this and I'm going to run this and uh, this is going to deadlock soon. And once this deadlocks, I'm going to open up this log and you'll see there's going to be a deadlock graph somewhere in there for uh, this particular deadlock. Um, Alright, so the deadlock occurred and I'm going to open up Again, once again, I'm in SQL Server Logs. So I'm going to say View Log. And you'll notice um, the first thing, uh, and it is uh, 1 o'clock AM. So you'll notice the first thing that there is is the deadlock graph. And you'll have to sift through it. So um, one of the things you'll have to look for first is actually this, this deadlock list and then the resource list so this is actually where it starts um, right here so if you look for the deadlock victim everything above it is related so all the way there so this is not really the most handy way to actually dig through the um, Dead deadlocks, uh, but it is a uh, option. So um, look for my other videos where I show you how to do it with the profiler. But uh, more importantly, because the profiler is uh, likely going to be deprecated, uh, to query for the extended events is actually the best way to go. Um, and I'm going to include that query in the video where I do show you how to do it with the extended events. All right. Uh, thank you for watching.